Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. So in the previous few tutorials, we covered tying wide three-part Turks head knots as well as how to expand them. In this tutorial, we're going to add a gaucho interweave into the mix, which will result in a gaucho knot paracord bracelet. For this project, we're first going to tie a three-part five-byte Turks head, then we're going to expand it into a five-part 9 byte Turks head and finally we're going to add a gaucho interweave which will result in a 9 part 16 byte Turks head. As far as supplies for this project go, you're going to need a mandrel and for this purpose I used a can of Pringles chips. Naturally you throw the chips away before you start tying. You're also going to need some cord and for this size of a mandrel 9.5 feet of paracord should do. You're also going to need a lacing needle and I also recommend using a rubber band to hold your standing end while you're tying. So with this said, let's get to it. I have attached my cord to the mandrel and the first thing we're going to do is make a wrap around. We're going to come over the standing end, then make another wrap around. We're going to travel over towards the right. Then we're going to pick up our working end and we're going to go under, then over towards the left side. We now have three cords at the top and we're going to pick up the middle one and place it over the right one. Then with the left cord, which is our working end, we're going to travel under then over towards the right side. We again have three cords at the top and we're going to pick up the middle one and place it over the left one. Then with our right one, which is our working end, we're going to travel under, then over towards the left side. With this we have tied a 3 part 5 byte Turks head. We are now going to expand it and the first thing we are going to do is double up our standing end. So we travel under then over. We are now going to follow the cord to our left. This one. So travel over, under, over. We're going to enter the knot again, following this cord, so over, under, over. And we're going to double up one more cord. So this one. So start with an over, then under, and then over. We're now going to split the pairs that we just made. So basically, we're going to go opposite to what the parallel chords are doing. So we're going to start with an over, then go under and over. We're going to split the next pair, so this one, start with an under, then go over, under, and over. And we're on to the next pair. So start with an under, over, then under, and finally over. And we have one more pair to split. This one. And again we travel under, 
then over, under, and over. With this we have tied a 5 part 9 byte Turks head. We are now going to add a gaucho interweave. And the first thing we are going to do is travel over the standing end, onto the left side of it, and then go under the first chord. Then over, under, and finally over 2. We are going to repeat the same sequence again. So under, over, under, and over 2. And again the same sequence. So under, then over, under, and over 2. We are now going to start a new sequence. So under, over, then under 2 in order to split a pair, then over 2. And we are going to repeat the same sequence. So under, then over, under 2, and over 2. And again the same sequence. So under, over, under 2, then over 2. And one more time, under, over, under 2, and over 2. And we now start a new sequence. So go under, then over 2 to split a pair, under 2 to split a pair, and over 2. And the same sequence again. Under 1, then over 2, under 2, over 2. And again, under 1. over 2, under 2, over 2. And one more time, under 1, over 2, under 2, over 2. And we are now at our last sequence, which is a simple under 2, then over 2, under 2 and over 2. And again, under 2, then over 2, under 2 and over 2. And now for the last time, under 2, over 2, under 2, and over 2. All we need to do now is finish the bracelet. So we place our working end next to the standing end, like this. And with this we have tied the knot. It will need some tightening up, so tighten it up first. Then what we're going to do is we're going to join the two ends you can also tie a decorative knot instead of joining the two ends by melting. And after you have joined them, all you do is you flip the bracelet around. And with that you have a nice looking gaucho knot bracelet. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that it wasn't too hard. With that said, thank you for joining me and please join me in the next few tutorials where we're going to try different styles including the pineapple knot and various others. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.